Right, hello, welcome to the Taylor guitar that I've got listed on um, eBay at the moment. A few of you have asked for a demonstration. I'm not the world's greatest player, I used to be a very good teacher, but there's um, some things that people have asked me about. I'll show you around the instrument after we've finished having our little bit of a demonstration. Somebody asked me what this measurement was here at the, uh, at the 12th fret. Now, on the bass end, it's 2mm or 0.8 of an inch, 0 0.08 of an inch, and on the high end it's uh, 0.6 or 1.7 millimetres. Right at the bridge, the string height, I've only taken it on the bass string, is 0.375 or 11 millimetres. Um, it's uh, the, the, I don't know how well you can see, but it's, um, it's really straight and uh, there's absolutely no problems with the neck warping. It's been uh, hung on the wall for about the last three years. Um, I want to give you a, a couple of demonstrations. The first one is uh, obviously to make sure that we've got the harmonics. So 12th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 5th. I think you can actually get the ninth on this one as well. So it's, it's been well set up, I set it up myself, so it's very much um, designed for being playing, played. Um, strings are a bit yucky, um, but I've found out a set of um, 12 Daddario's that I'll set with it, sell with it, because I use Elixirs and Daddario's are no use to me. So it's got fantastic projection for normal sort of strumming. I'm using a flat pick it's a Jim Dunlop 0.60 so it's quite a light one it's because I don't have any fingernails uh, but there are um, you know it's got some lovely tones up here quite nice for finger picking. Up here is true. I do play a lot in this area so it's important to me that this area is set up perfectly. got a real bass push on it but again it's it's really nice for just top end finger picking it's it's a beautiful guitar and I've loaned it out to my students um, who are interested in purchasing a guitar that actually does what it's supposed to do. They're looking, int they're interested in purchasing, say, a Taylor guitar or um, something along the elk, something along the five to two thousand pounds thing. Now, I, I did buy this off eBay, and there are a couple of little things. You can't see them. Um, there's a little, little mark there that goes under your arm. There's a little mark, I think, here, which is just a dent mark. But there's absolutely no buckle rash. Or anything. There's a little bit of mark at the top of the um, the back of the neck. Let's just see if we can get it there. It's a little little mark just there, as you can see. But apart from that, it's perfect. There's no capo rash because I don't use capos and I don't encourage it. The lovely thing about it is it's actually bellied as well. Can you see that? It's just it's not dead flat on the back which um, is a little unusual in a, a, in a budget instrument. I'm fairly certain that the top is Sitka and uh, the rest is probably laminate. Um, it's a beautiful guitar, but I have got far too many guitars and um, I, I just need to uh, get rid of some of them. If there's anything else you want to know about it, just um, make contact and I'll, I'll do what I can to uh, try and answer your questions. Thanks ever so much. Bye.